hello everyone welcome to the mathematics in my channel in this video we are going to solve this integral integral from 0 to infinity sine of x to the n over x to the n dx well how to begin <coughs> okay uh, first i'm going to define an integral uh, i of a i of a is equal to integral from 0 to infinity sine of a x to the n over x to the n dx so if we take our integral is equal to i then we know i is equal to i of 1 okay then i'm going to differentiate with respect to a so i dash of a is equal to integral from 0 to infinity now derivative of sine function we know cosine of a x to the n here x to the n times we should multiply by the coefficient of a so x to the n dx now we know x to the n get cancelled so we have integral from 0 to infinity cosine of a x to the n dx now uh, i'm going to take a substitution a raised to the 1 over n times x is equal to u so here we have x to the n so if we uh, take uh, nth power both side here a x to the n is equal to u to the n also uh, we should differentiate so we have a raised to the 1 over n dx is equal to du now we can plug in so here uh, now limit also we know 0 to infinity so 0 to infinity cosine of uh, here a x to the n x to the n we know uh, u to the n u to the n over a times dx dx we know du over a raised to the 1 over n okay then uh, we know this a get cancelled uh, a to the 1 over n we can take outside of the integral sign because it's a constant so here 0 to infinity cosine raised to the uh, sorry cosine of u to the n du we know uh, the definite integral independent of the variable so we can write this is also equal to cosine of x to the n t x okay now uh, this integral uh, familiar with us we know the fractional integral uh, in the previous video i generalize i solve this integral uh, so if you like to watch i will add the link in the description and also make a card so we know uh, this integral is equal to 1 over n times gamma of 1 over n times cosine of pi over 2 times n well uh, then uh, we know this is equal to i dash of a i dash of a then i am going to integrate uh, with respect to a so here this side i of a is equal to now 1 over n gamma of 1 over n cosine of pi over 2n constant so we can take outside of the integral sign then here a to the uh, here sorry here 1 over a to the 1 over n here also uh, 1 over a to the so we can write minus 1 over n sorry i did a mistake here 1 over a raised to the 1 over n okay then here a to the minus 1 over n d a so then we can integrate uh, here 1 over n gamma of 1 over n cosine of pi over 2 times n uh, here if we integrate we know a to the uh, 1 minus 1 over n so n minus 1 over n n minus 1 over n over n minus 1 over n and we can write uh, here n uh, plus constant now we know this n get cancelled and this is equal to i of a 
okay then uh, if we plug in zero if we take i of zero i of zero we know i a i of zero we know sine of zero so here zero i of zero is equal to zero uh, and here uh, if we plug in zero we know this is this part uh, will be also zero so zero plus c so c is equal to zero then we can take i1 i1 we know integral from zero to infinity sine of x to the n over x to the n dx and uh, this is equal to here uh, gamma of 1 over n times cosine of pi over 2n over n minus 1 okay this is the answer for this integral and here uh, n greater than 2 1 so um, if you like this type of videos uh, please subscribe this channel thank you for watching